Okay, this is day nine wrap up eating on the starch solution, which is low glycemic, no fat, vegetarian diet. And uh, today, I just got up late and uh, my friend called me and she was in the neighborhood and so she stopped by and we had some oatmeal for breakfast, green tea, and I had made homemade applesauce last night, organic apples and... Um, so we had that for breakfast, and then as we were eating, I got a call from Gary, who needed some roadside assistance. So I real quick got dress, you know, got ready. I was already dressed, but I just went out of the house and um, helped him out. And fortunately, we were able to get his uh, Rocon cycle um, working, and I drove his big truck. I checked the juniper, not juniper berries, elderberry berries along the road. They still seem to be green. That was on my list to do today. And then I went over to the garden at the house. I checked the cherry tomatoes. In fact, I had some cherry tomatoes. And um, I checked everything else. And uh, everything was fine. And then um, I drove home. It was pretty late by then. It was like 2.30 in the afternoon. And I was starving. I was so hungry. And I had to go home and start doing some work at 3. So as I was sitting down to work, I would jump up. And I had zucchini fritters in the freezer. So I just took three zucchini fritters and I put them in the oven. I took some canned corn and I put it on the stove. And I chopped up a red tomato. And that was a very good lunch. It was quick. And it was satisfying. I think I made a cup of black tea. And then I was able to do my work. Then I went to meditate. I uh, Afterwards, I was determined to keep with my exercise regimen. So I went, I did my resistance training in the, you know, the work, the pumping iron room at the rec center. I was with the gang. <laughs> I don't really know any of these people, but when you're all together, you know, you know, you're each one is focused on kind of the same knocking it out kind of attitude. I do 20 minutes, and then I did 20 minutes on the elliptical. I finish up on the elliptical listening to Steve, Steve, uh, Chick Corea's piece, Spain, done by Stevie Wonder. And it's so rousing that I was listening to, like, you know, some story, and I thought, you know, the, the last seven minutes, I really need to pick this up with some rousing music. And that just elevates me, like, just through the roof. It's such a great inspirational song, you know. So the last part of the exercise was inspirational and easy. And then I did my sauna, my whirlpool, and uh, then I went to the store, got some oat milk. I was out of oat milk. And I talked to my friend Colleen, who's a gardener, and she has a little market she runs out of her house because she has a greenhouse, and she's been selling all types of botanicals for years and she has fresh produce and we're just talking about the lack of rain and it's just fun to talk to a, somebody who's a gardener because now I'm a gardener you know I told her I was thinking about doing the farmers market I emailed the farmers market and they asked me where I lived and what kind of stuff I had and I I responded so we'll see if I hear back because I need to get rid of some of this stuff anyway uh, tonight I uh, made a Mexican mashup, and then I um, made some sauerkraut. I had that beautiful cabbage fresh from the garden, and I'm trying to follow the recipe. I don't have mustard seeds or, what was the other one? Mustard seeds or juniper berries. The recipe calls for juniper berries. I do have caraway seeds. So I put some caraway seeds and kosher salt in there, and I uh, packed it down in the jar, added a little salty water, put a lid on it, and I think that's what you do. I put like a cabbage leaf on the top to keep it down. You know, some recipes recommended that. I boiled the jars. I got all my jars out of the shed, pulled them all out, so mostly almost all of them are here. You know, I'm going to have to boil up my kombucha probably tomorrow because I'm going to probably it's probably going to be ready to bottle tomorrow get that done but I never seem to get as much done on a daily basis as I hope to like I wanted to do my stuffed peppers which are so fresh oh my goodness 
and I wanted to chop some of the tomatoes and start making tomato sauce. And I'm just taking it step by step, you know, and just do it as much as I can. I'm tired now. And, I, you know, I'm going to bed. So I'm not staying up all night preparing food. I'm just not doing it. But I, I stuck with my diet. I did some exercise. You know, I wasn't able to do my yoga but or my uh, Roberta's gym. But, you know, I did what I could and stayed with the program. Oh, yeah, my weight was, I think, 126.8. So I'm in the zone, you know. And, yeah, life is good. So that's it for my day nine wrap up, August 2022.